speech in a way does is convert voice to, to these events that the UI can react to. But how do you specify what parts of the, the user's speech or keywords in general should trigger these events? So, so what happens behind the scenes is that some machine learning models listen to the user's speech and then do their magic, right? But to get there, those models must be trained. And this requires training examples. This is how it's always with machine learning. And when we talk about configuring a speechly application, we mean, we mean that you must provide this training data. And, and this is done in a way that's, that may be familiar to you from other natural language processing tools, such as Spacey, Rasa, and Dialogflow, and, and whatnot. So first, the, the idea is that you define some examples of utterances that your users might be saying. This, this thing's shown here, show me blue jeans. Do you have that in red? And then in these utterances, you mark those spans or, or phrases that contain the pieces of information relevant to your application. And finally, you annotate these spans so that our machine learning uh, system can distinguish between different phrases of interest and thus sort of generate different events. So here you can see that the color, the, the word blue has been tagged as color and jeans has now been tagged as a category. This, this type of configuration underlies some of our, some of our demos. And importantly, you are not somehow confined to using a predefined set of event types or entities as they are sometimes also called. So you can design exactly those event types that suit your application. So that's the basic idea here. And, and more details <clears throat> can be found in our documentation.